September 21st, 2012, the day the iPhone 5 ships around the world. We're pretty lucky. It's only 10.30 in the morning. Actually, uh, just before 10.30 in the morning, and my iPhone 5 is here. We're going to do a quick unboxing, do a little bit of a comparison with the 4S box anyways. It looks like uh, it could be about the same size, but we know what you want to see, so let's go ahead and dig into this. Got some scissors here. Packing list on the back. We'll try to disclose that or not show that. Looks very much like traditional Apple packaging. There you go. You can see that I did go white, and I actually made the decision to go 64 gigabytes on this unit. My 32 is full to the brim, and not everything is on there that I would like. So 64 was a necessary upgrade for me. Box design. Uh, somebody asked me to talk about this, so I will. It's a little bit different on the front. They're showing that it's thinner and taller <clears throat> with the enhanced box here. Still do have an Apple logo on the bottom as opposed to the iCloud. Apple on the top on the 4S and the 5. Then it just says iPhone 5 on both sides with, of course, there we go, iPhone 5 white, comma, 64 gig on the back. So now the fun part. We get to open up the shrink wrap and see what this thing looks like. Tons of coverage of the iPhone 5 on techinform.us, our technology blog. Nothing hands-on yet because this is, as far as I know, the first time for anybody from Tech Inform being able to see the iPhone 5, which is right there. Wow, that is strange looking. It is so tall and thin. Oh my gosh. That is nice. That's It, it looks really odd. Let me get the 4S out here. And we can see that the bezel around the side just looks different. You can definitely tell it's thinner sitting there and uh, easily taller. That's a really nice screen. Way thin. Same kind of stuff on the side. The aluminum actually looks really nice on the back. Let's pull that plastic off. Love that sound. See that aluminum, which, oh wow, that feels nice. Unfortunately, it feels like a scratch magnet. We'll see what Apple's done about that. Camera, lens, microphone, power button in the same place. Nothing on the right but the SIM tray for uh, the GSM phones. There's the new dock connector at the bottom for lightning. Headphone jack now at the bottom as well as speaker and microphone. Antennas on the sides and back buttons there, and the hold switch. We'll boot that up in a minute, although we pretty much know what we're going to see, the activation info. Throw it off to the side and see what else is in the box. Pull up just like any Apple product before it, designed by Apple in California. I'm going to guess this is all the same stuff. Fingertips or hello or something smart. Actually, it opens a little bit differently. What do we have? It says hello. We have Apple stickers, iPhone info, a little bit of how-to for iOS 6. Could be useful if you're new. No SIM eject tool. I think they killed that with the 4S or the 3GS way back in the day. There is our lightning connector. I have a video unboxing this the other day. It is tiny. We also have this that we've had for years to charge the phone via USB. And then the new ear pods, which I may or may not review. It looks like they come in their own case here with a little bit of plastic on them. And uh, supposedly, they're supposed to be more comfortable, better built, and slightly better sounding. So maybe we will talk about those later. Clear all this out of the way. Back to the 5. I'm noticing that uh, that would be, I guess, the proximity sensor is now that little thing there instead of the bar above the speaker on the, four, on the 4S. So I'll press and hold that power button. This thing feels way thin. That feels really good, really light too. I definitely feel the weight difference. The 4S now feels a little fatter and heavier in comparison. The home button actually looks smaller. It may not be. Holding it in the hand feels like you're going to be able to get up to the top of the screen fine. I know that was <clears throat> at least a concern of mine, is that it would be too tall and you'd have to move it down in your hands to reach up there. But holding it how I usually do, using my pinky on the bottom, does feel okay. So we'll let that boot up real quick. It'll probably bring me to the activation window for AT&T or iOS 6. Yes, yeah, slide to set up. I'm actually not going to be able to activate this because I have to go to the store and change the number around. Uh, but wow. Yeah, screen looks really good. Initial impressions, excellent. Very thin, very light, very futuristic. Come back to the channel. Check out the review in a little bit. Thanks for watching. You guys have an awesome weekend. If you're getting an iPhone 5, enjoy it. Play with it. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. Subscribe if you like what you saw. Bye-bye.